John Mino of WIXX FM is spending the Thanksgiving holiday with the troops in Afghanistan. He's been visiting with the 432nd Civil Affairs Battalion, and he joins us now live on the phone from Afghanistan. Good morning, John. How you doing? Happy Thanksgiving. Good morning, Pete. How are you doing, guys? Doing real good. good. Hey, can you tell us, uh, set the scene as far as the time is concerned? What time is it right there? And tell us uh, how the guys are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving. Okay, first of all, I was afraid you were going to ask me that question because I keep my watch set in Wisconsin time. <laughs> but it is, is it dark outside, John? <laughs> <laughs> it is ten and a half hours ahead of you guys. Okay. So figure that one out, please. Okay. And then, so you're, so the guys are going to get together, watch the football game, right, and and then have Thanksgiving. Is that how it's going to work? No, they're actually having it right now. Okay. Uh, it's that real cool military ceremony where the officers. They become the uh, the servers. They serve the enlisted personnel. They actually dish out the Thanksgiving meal. They've got a great meal here in the uh, in the mess hall, and everybody's really enjoying it. I walked through it. I didn't have a chance to eat yet, but it smells fantastic, and it looks really good. So that's kind of a tradition. They really do celebrate Thanksgiving along those ways in a real traditional manner, and they're having some formations and different things like that. But, you know, one thing I just wanted to say, you know, I, I saw a group heading out today, and they're a group of uh, MPs, and they're going out on a mission. And I checked my watch, and it was about 3 o'clock Wisconsin time in the morning. And I remember thinking to myself, you know, everybody's back home, um, you know, all kind of nestled in their beds waiting for Thanksgiving. And here these troops were heading out into Afghanistan, uh, you know, to do their job, you know, with no complaints on Thanksgiving. And, and those are the people I, I just hope everybody, you know, when they, when they sit down to dinner today, I just hope they know there's a bunch of people in uniform over here who, for, for a lot of them, it's just another day going out and doing what they do. So just, I just want to say, you know, seriously, without trying to sound corny or cheesy or anything, just, you know, please have a good thought for them uh, when you sit down and enjoy the day. You know, I know, John, you've been sharing uh, letters uh, and greetings from home with the troops there in Afghanistan. Have you been able to talk to them about the work that they're doing to help the Afghan government get kind of stabilized? Well, they, they do, you know what, they do things on all different levels. In fact, yesterday I spent the day at the uh, governor's palace in Kandahar City. And it was really it was really amazing. The governor here of Kandahar, one of the most powerful men in Afghanistan, used to live in Wausau, went to school at the University of Wisconsin, and even told me about the places he used to hang out when he was going to school in Wisconsin and, you know, have a few cold ones. And he's the governor over here, really nice man, and an agricultural major in school at the University of Wisconsin. So a lot of it is a grassroots agricultural type things, business type things, and then the government civil affairs type things. Okay. But they just try to be here and help them however they're needed. Those are the types of things they're doing really at a grassroots level, literally rolling up the sleeves and helping them however they can. Hey, John, could you tell us about this flag folding ceremony? Uh, oh, yes, that was a really cool thing. Uh, Captain Shel Selby there, uh, what she did, her husband, uh, former member of the Green Bay Police Department, got a bunch of Green Bay Police Department uh, badges or not badges, excuse me, patches, and the coins from the Green Bay Police Department. And the unit that does security for the 432nd is from Rhode Island. Wonderful guys, all diehard Patriot and Red Sox fans. Wonderful, wonderful guys. And they did a coin exchange and patch exchange. And she gave them all Green Bay Police Department patches and coins. It was really cool. Well, it looks cool. We're looking at the video right now. We also have that video of the guys playing uh, football, flag football over there uh, that you talked about the last time. Uh, and, and while we watch that video, John, why did you want to go to Afghanistan? Well, you know, I, I went with some of our units in, uh, in Iraq in 2006 with the 127, 2008 with the 432nd in Iraq. And uh, you know what? I, I, I'll be totally honest with you. I just like bringing a little piece of home to them. And again, I don't mean to sound cheesy or anything like that, but I just, you know what? I, I got a gentleman standing next to me. It's, it's Private Jukamek. And I brought some cheese curds over here. And this young man literally jumped out of his chair 
when I open up the cheese curds. Private Juke Mix, say hello to everybody back home. Hello, everybody back at home. I, I just want to say go, pack, go, and have a happy Thanksgiving. And the cheese curds were amazing. I did almost fall out of my seat. <laughs> and that's what I mean. I mean, those, just those little types of things like that. And I'll be honest with you, I know both of you, anybody, if you had the chance to do it, you would do the same. I, I'm not trying to be anything special or anything like that. I just like coming over here with these guys and, and hanging out with them and let them know that everybody back home. Because the folks back home are so supportive. It's beyond belief. Private you can make all of the support back home. I don't have to say it's amazing. I've gotten a lot of letters from other people around Green Bay and around Wisconsin. Um, I want to say thank you also to the Lions Club and a few and the VFW for also sending me goodies each month to support us. I appreciate everything that everybody does. You guys are very supportive. And that's that's for this guy right here. That's the kind of soldiers we have. Just nice, polite people. Mm. Seriously, I'm, I'm I'm enjoying myself like you can't believe. Is that the gentleman from uh, your hometown, Nagani? Yes, can you believe that? And I come to Afghanistan to fight somebody basically from my hometown. So we've had great discussions about saunas, about kudigis, about the best places for people, oh, about pasties. Oh, we've had yeah. great, great intellectual discussions over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet they're happy to talk about all that with you. John, tell them, all of them that you run into today, that we are thankful for them on this Thanksgiving for their service. And we are so thankful for you to sharing that video with us and, and spending your Thanksgiving time with us. Absolutely no problem. The only problem is every time I go on these trips, I actually put on weight because I'm one of the few people that really likes the mess hall food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do they have cran uh, canned cranberry sauce? I know. Hang on one second. Private chef, she wants to know if you have cran can uh, can cranberry sauce. Uh, Dr. Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Yes, we do have cranberry <laughs> sauce. Uh, we I was able to eat basically a big uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Cranberry is actually one of my favorite part of <laughs> Thanksgiving mm. dinner. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. Oh, you too.